Hey everyone, uh, doing my, uh, I got tagged by Scott Oster Miller on this uh, fragrances that make me feel, and I guess we're looking for ones that make you feel professional, confident, sexy, daring, and fun. So um, I dug through my drawers and realized I might have a problem. Yeah, and then I was like, I don't know if I can narrow it down to just one or two so this might be a while but it's it's gonna be fun it's a learning experience and uh thank you scott for pointing out how terrible of an addiction i have anyhow let's start with professional i work in a business environment i work at a casino i'm a floor supervisor i'm the guy with the suit and tie watching all the card counters yeah very exciting um but to fit in there you gotta you gotta look good and also smell good <clears throat> so first let's go with uh, let's see. Wow, got quite the array here. Let's go with for a professional. Let's go with an old standby at first. Yeah, that's right, Old Spice. Reason why? You smell that? You're an Old Spice man. It's 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 the most it's base it's the Chanel number no. five for men. So if if you if you can wear this, yeah, it might be old, it might be dated, but it is a staple. Everybody should ha have it, and everybody should appreciate it, in my opinion. Also for professionalism, obsession, yes, for women. Uh, year, about a year or so back, I started a, a project called Year of the Stink, and I was just going to get into aftershaves from aftershaves that went into fragrances, and from fragrances, men's fragrances, I went into women's fragrances and try to remove gender from any sort of fragrance. Just if it smells good, wear it, period. The stuff smells really good. It's a vanilla and amber bomb. It's classic. It is. It just smells good. It doesn't grab you by the throat and say, smell me. If just be, don't worry that it's marketed for women. It's great. Let's see. What else for professional? Hmm. I think, I think that's all for my professional. You, you have no, it. Oh, wait, no, no. There we go. Another one. Cody exclamation. Nose behind this is Sophia Grossman. She's one of my favorite noses. Um, she also was the nose behind my wife's favorite scent, White Diamonds. This, I love. It is fruity. It is fresh. It is very unisex, in my opinion. And basically, it, it, it smells like a fancy dryer sheet. You smell like fancy laundry. It's nothing too outwardly feminine. It's very good. You smell good, and people have complimented me on this one. They go, man, you just smell good. What is that? No, I just, you know, because, you know, a lot a lot of times that'll lead into a whole hour thing. You wear women's perfumes? Are you some kind of weirdo? No, I just like to smell good. You said I smelled good, so. Hmm. So for professional, that for me, that I, I wear them, I feel good. I feel professional. I feel ready. Uh confident confident bang Stetson Black it's a flanker I mean I do like Stetson I found as time goes on though it's too sweet for me um, I've drifted away from it still a good fragrance no no doubt but I I'm liking its flankers more and Stetson Black this is it's got a very solid black tea note to it a uh, little bit of leather in there too. Very good, just um, similar to Fahrenheit, similar but not quite. And it's just a very good, very solid fragrance. Wear it, you smell it manly. Also another from the house of Cody, my favorite house, uh, preferred stock. Uh, kind of a Drakkar vibe to it, made in that time, but um, again, just. Uh, Let's see. Well, let's smell the two together. Yeah, I'm gonna be less, less mossy, more sweet, but very for confident. Yeah, just wear that. Also, very manly, masculine, power suit guy. You know, you just yeah, you're a man. Uh, let's see, yeah, professional, confident, daring. Professional, confident, daring, fun. 
Yeah, I've got the uh, attention span of a squirrel. Anyhow, confident, daring, uh, sexy. Yeah, professional, confident, daring, sexy. Okay, daring. Let's go into daring. You're going to look at me and say, daring? This is a taco velvet musk. It's a staple. Well, it is. Problem with it is, I'm, it's, if you wear too much of it, you smell like a used car salesman, and in the bad way. The trick with this is light application. Even then, people look at you, yeah. But that's why I say it's daring. If you overapply, it's, it's, no. But if you apply just right, it smells good. Also for daring. A lot of people hate it. I love it. Need I say more? Professional confident. Daring. Charles Rubman. Ciara. This. I found an older bottle in my local druggist. And uh, still had oak moss in it. It's very sweet, very uh, raspberry and the vanilla, herbaceous. I, I like oriental fragrances, and this is just amazing. It smells a lot more expensive than what it costs. And if you can find one with, if you like, just I wrote a I put a review up of it on uh, Wet Shaver Review and. Uh, kind of a lame one but there's plenty more online 20 30 years ago this would have been a woman's fragrance now it's very unisex you could definitely I could definitely see someone like Slumberhouse or Tom Ford something along that line releasing something that smelled very similar to this and it would be lauded and it would be loved and everybody would say oh how daring how outre and it's just oh it's great again over application can kill it though. Also, with daring, kind of fun and daring. Prince 3121. It's a white floral. I love white florals. And, um, but it's also Prince. It comes in a badass bottle. Yeah, it's for women, but Prince made it, so you know he's wearing it. And it's, it's a metallic white floral. Very, almost bitter. Very good. I've um, worn it several times and I've gotten very mixed reviews on it. And some people love it, some people, eh. That's why I'd call it daring. Also, daring, the ultimate dare. Taboo. The perfume for whores. It is, for me, intoxicating. You mean, even the. Modern Dana version where it's everyone says it's a mere shadow of what it once was. It is still a powerhouse. You can't deny that. It smells great in my opinion. Uh, very much almost like a root beer. You get a very root beer note from it. Uh, but it's out of this world. Again, over application can kill it. Um, more suited for night than day wear. But it's out of this world for me. Now let's move on to the sexy. A lot of people say, yeah, it's a cliche. I say it's sexy because my wife likes it. So if she likes it, it's good. She smells it on me and goes, hey. And I go, yeah. It's good stuff. Also, Lucky You. Another one that's favored by the wife. Basically, it's it's kind of like Curve without the pineapple. It's, it, to me, it's if somebody took the smell of fresh cut grass and made it a cologne. It's very fresh, very vibrant, uh, very 90s in a good way, and I just love it. It's good stuff. Now we're moving on to the fun category. A lot of these I'd consider in the fun as well. Um, Prince. It's Prince Cologne. That's just fucking hilarious right there. Um, let's see what else. Um, one that I have sampled but do not own because I'm not going to spend all that money on a bottle of cologne no matter how much. I want to, even basically my wife says no. Uh, Penhaligon's Astara, uh, fragrance for women, but it smells like daffodils and it's great. It's springtime in a bottle. And a very close runner up to this, just fun, 
Arden Sunflowers. It is fresh, it is bright, it pops, and you just smell it and you're like, yeah, springtime and flowers and sunshine, all right. It's very much a mood brightener for me. Another fun one. Where did it go? I still have, sad, I still have a lot of stuff under there, and, most, and I thought I had most of it out. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it, where did it go? Oh, fun. How could I forget this? Gravity. It smells like the 90s. Such a cliche. So good, though. So good. Lime and leather. It's just that weird... It's kind of like 90s music when it couldn't decide what it wanted to be. This is that. Just when we can't decide what we want to be. Do we want to be aquatic? Do we want to be leather? Do we want to be fougere? I don't know, but let's just put it in a bottle and throw it out there. This is good. This is very good. I wear this a lot. People are like, dude, is that is that gravity? I used to wear that all the time when I was a kid. Yeah, it is, man. Awesome. They still make that? Yeah, they do. All right. All right. It's good stuff. That's very fun. Very bright, fresh, and just very 90s in a good way, though. Yeah. Let's see. Fun, 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 fun. Oh, yes. Laugh if you must. Joven Island Gardenia. Great stuff. Smells good. Some say you smell like an old lady. I just say you smell like a pretty flower. And that's okay if you want to smell like a pretty flower. Because nobody is judging you. And if they are, they're an asshole. Where would you want to smell like? Except in the case of, you know, like this one. Not a big fan. I mean, it's a good fragrance. It's Don't get me wrong there. It's, it's a classic. I'm not a big fan of it. But when the wife says, I like it, I wear it. Really, in terms of just, you know, fragrances, that's it. I mean, if we went into everything, you know, soaps and pomades and stuff, this thing would turn into like, oh, oh I don't know. We'd be here a while. Oh, that's bad. So apparently I have to reorganize now. Um, there was a slight earthquake. And everything's on the floor now, but it's okay. But uh, there we go. And apparently I've got to tag people and this thing about your smells for tag people and what you want to smell like for a sexy, confident, fun, daring, and professional. There we go. Mind like a sieve. And I'll tag in this. Put it on the sites. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you've gotten, you know, hope to see more interesting fragrances pop through. And uh, yeah, good day, everyone. Good day. Smell great.